This is my first visit to Afghanistan. I'm extremely glad I've been able to do it because in a month's time I'll be taking up um, my new position as Britain's permanent representative to NATO. So this has been a key issue for me. I am absolutely convinced that getting up, um, standing up adequate Afghan national security forces, the police are key, the army is a key to that, is going to be uh, force critical for our mission in Afghanistan. I've been very impressed by what I've heard today, but I've also been really impressed by the scale of the challenge and the need to have all the NATO nations actually taking part in it. At the heart of that strategy is Afghanization. So unless we have capable Afghan security forces to back up a capable Afghan civilian government, we're not going to succeed in our mission. So I think this is one of the mission critical uh, tasks inside the overall NATO task in Afghanistan. I think you are clearly looking to the nations in NATO, but also nations outside NATO, to help with providing instructors, providing people who can offer training in-country, providing people who've got a range of capabilities, some of them very basic, some of them very much more sophisticated, to help Afghans train themselves.